Good day Libra and welcome to my channel. This is your bonus reading for April 20th, 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates for you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Ooh, seven of clubs. Well, ace of spades. Seven of hearts. And, oh, damn, ten of diamonds. Okay. Now, that is great to have as your main energy, the ten of diamonds there. So, yeah, your main energy is the Ten of Diamonds. You have a chance to make it rain and, and be su successful. But you have to leave your comfort zone and go through something unpleasant in order to get this, uh, you know, financial success. Uh, but it's big, you know. This is big financial success. This can be uh, legacy type stuff, you know, stuff that your children's children are going to, uh, you know, benefit from. Uh, that's that's how big this can be, okay? But you had to leave your comfort zone uh, in order to get it. Now, that can be as little as you don't like to go golfing. Like, it's not your thing. It is unpleasant to you. It is out, outside of your comfort zone. Uh, but if you go gol golfing, uh, you might meet somebody that offers you a new job. You might uh, meet somebody that can help you get some kind of business idea going off. Uh, but that's what's going to happen if you leave your comfort zone and go golfing or whatever it may be, whatever the unpleasantry is, and something is going to happen to you uh, during that time that is going to bring you, uh, yeah, financial success. So, yeah, you might want to think about leaving that comfort zone. And I know, I know. You, you like your comfort zone. Everybody does. But still, uh, things don't change usually if we just sit in our comfort zone. Uh, we basically, everything goes the same as always. Uh, that's why it's called the comfort zone, right? Because you're comfortable in it. Uh, at the beginning of the day, you have some snakes in the grass. Yeah, and they're out to either confuse you in love or sabotage you at work or possibly even both. Now, this could also be somebody that's trying to sabotage this uh, uh, ten of diamonds, you know, they might see that coming if you, uh, walk yourself out of the comfort zone. So these snakes in the grass, which could be, would, could be a couple, like a couple of people, or this could be a group of people. So they could easily just be trying to talk you out of leaving your comfort zone. You know, they could easily just be doing that to stop you from, from being successful. Uh, these people see, probably see what you're not seeing. That's going to happen for you if you leave your comfort zone. Uh, so keep one eye your, uh, open. Keep your faith in your love. Keep your faith in your work, you know. Uh, and be careful of those that you listen to, you know. <clears throat> if somebody, if, if some people are making you feel even more comfortable in your comfort zone, they might actually be against you, okay? Just keep that in mind. Uh, in the middle of the day, well, fuck, you have a chance to make a good investment. Now, again, this could be part of the Ten of Diamonds. Somebody could bring up a good investment to you by leaving your comfort zone, all right? Now, this doesn't mean take up the first investment that pops up, okay? There can be multiple investments even in one day uh, that pop up. You still want to go with your gut. You still want to go with your mind. You want to, you know, math it out. Make sure that it is a good investment. That you are going to get uh, some kind, of, some kind of finances returned to you, right? Uh, but you know, if it adds up with the comfort zone and the ten of diamonds and whatnot, yeah, it's going to be a good investment. And that's probably why these snakes in the grass probably see it because it, it probably is a good inv an investment that you can make uh, that's going to help you be successful financially. And these snakes in the grass probably know about it you know and that's why they're going to want to try to stop you from leaving your comfort zone now at the end of the day you need to stop you're doing too damn much yeah you're either doing too much at work or you're doing too much for somebody you know and you need to cut that fat because your own priorities are hurting because of it 
uh, you need to rethink your priorities. You need to focus on number one. It's time to focus on you here at the end of the day and uh, look at your priorities and focus on one priority at a time, finish it, and then repeat, you know. Uh, but yeah, it is time to cut off some fat. Uh, whatever the fat is, the fat will be fine, you know. You and your priorities won't be fine if you continue to uh, neglect them uh, the way that you may have been doing for the past, uh, maybe just for the day even. Uh, but you are neglecting your own priorities uh, due to doing too much for other people. And you need to really stop that and, and focus on number one. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Mm, hermit. Okay, so you got the hermit. Now the hermit, he's a wise man. And he's been sitting in a cave becoming even wiser. You know, uh, but it's time. He has his lantern. He can find his way out of the cave now. And it's time for him to go out and share that knowledge with everybody else. Uh, I feel like this card is really uh, talking about leaving your comfort zone, leaving that cave and going out and finding the things that you uh, deserve, what you want, you know, uh, which could be this investment, which could be, you know, looking at your own priorities and whatnot. But I really think that this card is basically just uh, mirroring the Ten of Diamonds and saying if you want that Ten of Diamonds, you got to leave that, that cave. You are ready to leave the cave. You know everything that you need to know. All right. Uh, there's no point in staying there any longer. But you got to be careful because these snakes in the grass want to keep you in the cave. They don't want you going out. They don't want you going out and, and making a good investment and thinking about number one. They want want you to think about them. So these pe the people, the snakes in the grass could be people that you're doing stuff for. You know, you could be doing stuff for them and that they're worried that if you make it rain, if you get successful financially, uh, they're going to be cut off. Uh, but either way, release yourself from the cave. You don't need to be in there any longer, okay? So there you go. I hope this uh, helps. I hope it resonated. And if it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next 420. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful. And stay healthy.